welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Alec Echol, Benaya, Kevin Murphy. And tonight's game, we have the Frontier uh, Red Ox versus Douglas. Um, the Frontier, they're the number one seed, and the uh, Douglas, they are the eight seed. So I think they would do the starting lineups, and then the national anthem. So we'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Oh, no, no. Hello and welcome back uh, to Frontier Connected Television. Uh, this contest today is being brought to you by the Massachusetts Interscholastic Athletic Association, MIA. This association is responsible for governing, coordinating, and promoting educational athletics and aims to provide student athletes with the best high school experience possible. MIA stresses the values of interscholastic athletics from the discipline and commitment to sportsmanship and teamwork. Visit the MIA website today at MIA.net and explore all that they have to offer. Again, that's MIA.net. All right, here we go, Alec. So it's gonna be a great game tonight. Um, and 
Frontier, I mean, they have a pretty astounding season, 22 and one. Wow. So, Douglas, they're 14 and seven on the season. Uh, and again, Frontier, they're the one seed tonight versus Douglas, who is the eight seed. And it the, should uh, be uh, interesting to see uh, how good of a game it is. Yeah. And looks like Frontier, they're gonna start with it. Uh, it's going to be Jillian Appenell serving it up for Frontier. So here comes the serve. Nice serve, and there you go, a point. And an ace for Jillian. So that's gonna make it one to zero for the Red Ox. And Appenel with another nice serve. This one going to be returned. Looks like it's nice return and the point for the Red Ox. That's gonna put it up two to zero. Yeah, she almost didn't get it over either, Tom. Uh, she uh, she mishit that and just had enough power to get it over the net. And here comes Appenel on her third serve of the night. It's a nice serve and return by Douglas. Scanlon sets up Dugan. Nice serve from Dugan. And double hit. So Tom, right now Frontier off to a quick start, a three nothing lead over Douglas. Yeah, I mean, that's what we've kind of seen most of the season. And here comes Zappinell with another serve. Another and an ace for her. It puts it four to zero, so. Here comes Appenel again with the serve. Kind of a knuckleball, knuckleball serve. And unreturnable. That'll make it five to zero out. So Frontier coming out strong as they usually do. Appenel with another serve. This one will not be returned. Six to nothing. Yeah, Frontier just doing a good job hitting it into locations, and uh, Douglas is just having an issue getting it back over the net. Yeah. It's always good to see your captain out there. And that one, that point will go to Douglas. As I think it was. May have been Ava Lanier that hit it over there. I'm not too sure. Serving for Douglas will be Elise Forget. Sunny Salen sets up Dugan. Nice. And it's returned by Douglas. Samantha Baker hits it over for Frontier, and that one won't be returned. Seven to one, Red Hawks lead. Yeah, no, Tom, looking at uh, some of the team leaders too, uh, there's a big difference between kills overall points too. Yeah. So it's a lot of nice, 230 kills by Eva Dugan, 220 by jo uh, Caroline Dean and 88 by Jillian Appenau, so. On the other side, you have Ava Lemire with 256 kills, Izzy Ohm with 83, and Caroline Ramsdell with 54, so. <laughs> the blocks, you have, uh, ooh, Jillian Appenel with 10, Kate Demio with 10, Sydney Scalen for seven for the Red Ox, and on the other side, you have Ava Lemire, 45 blocks, so that'll be interesting to see. Uh, Gabby Rivard with 11, and Izzy Ohm with seven. The, yeah. So, quick time out there. We will keep it rolling, Al. You know. <laughs> it's gonna now be. it's it's really uh gonna really be interesting because uh they definitely have more stats on blocks than Frontier does for uh, stats. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see if that can be, be uh play a part of. <laughs> The today's game. The craziest stat that I see, Alec, is Sydney Scanlon with 569 assists. Yeah. Yeah. Good job by Samantha Baker there. That one was unreturnable, and it'll be 9-1 Red Hawks with the lead. 
So Baker will be at the service line again. And here comes the serve. This one will be returned. No, it will not. Double hit. 10 to 1 out. And Samantha Baker will have another turn at the service line. Here comes the serve. This one will be returned. Dean Dugan. Oh, nice. Good job by. Way for uh, way to go by Frontier to stick with it through that too, Tom. Yeah, and they get the point as Sydney Scallon. That was over. not easy, I tell you that much. No. Here comes another hard hitting serve by Samantha Baker. And Baker to Scallon sets up uh, Kate DeMio. Now returned. This one won't be able to be returned by the Hawks, and it'll be 11 to 2. So Douglas now will get the serve, get the serve again. And it will be Caroline Ramsell. And Kate DeMio with a nice spike, and it will be 12 to 2. Great job by her. She was set up nicely. And it will be Eve Dugan serving it up for Frontier. Nice serve. See if Douglas can return, they do. So uh, Tom, coming in today, game two, Eve Dugan has 56 aces. Yeah. That's, that's a big, big thing right there. Douglas, they'll get the point there. 12 to 3. And at the service line will be their the Bureau? Yeah. I think that's how you say it. Be Jordani Sofita. And she's uh she's leading her team with uh, uh, uh aces as well. Yeah. 76 aces for her. Dean oh that will go that point will go to Douglas has Frontier just kind of had a miss hit. So Giordani, Savita will serve again. Dugan, now Scanlon setting up Dean. Oh, nice save by Douglas. Dean's gonna hit it over. Nice hit to Douglas. Scanlon setting up Dean. That one won't be returned. 13 to four out. Yeah, no, uh, amazing plays by both team on that, though. Douglas had uh, one play where the player had to dive, and she, she got down enough, uh, down quick enough to get there, and that, that kept it going. Yeah. Nice serve. And Frontier, or Douglas won't be able to return that one. Yeah, no, she mishit that one. Uh, so it will be uh, Brooke Davis serving it again. Here goes Davis. Nice serve by her. Douglas will be able to return. Dean nice hit. die by Frontier. Yeah, that was Caroline Dean. Scaling to Davis. Now Davis sets up Dean. Douglas trying to return. They do. Davis scaling. Appenel with the tap over. Ooh. Good job by Jillian Ampino getting it over there and Douglas not being able to return that one. 15 to four. Frontier with the 11 point lead. And Davis will serve it up again for the Red Hawks. That, oh, nice job by Douglas returning that one. Down, sets up. Ampino, but that one will be out of bounds. 15 to five. Yeah, just outside that uh, blue line come, just outside. And it's gonna be Kylie Squeer. Let's serve there, ooh. ooh. Great spike. I think that was uh, Ava Lemire. So it's going to be 15 to 6, and Kylie 
Squire will serve again. Dugan setting up Scallon. Scallon to, uh, sets up Dean and turned by Douglas. Scallon setting up Dean again. That one won't be able to be returned. Hard hit by Caroline Dean. No, oh, yeah, but Douglas did a good job. The first hit by Frontier to block it uh, and stay with it. But un unfortunately, it goes to Frontier. 16 to 6. And Sydney Scallon will be at the service line. Captain for the Red Hawks. Ooh, nice set. Yeah. Dugan to Scallon. Scallon back sets to S Samantha Baker. Now Dugan, Scallon, Senna, and Bapinel. Douglas being able to turn. Comes our way. <laughs> Almost hitting the, the computer, Alec. Hey, I caught it. Yeah. <laughs> 16 to 7. It's going to hit Alec right in the face if he didn't catch that one. No, I would have hit the laptop. Nah, I would have hit you. Nice serve. But Douglas walk at the net. That was Ava Lemire. Hey, good block. Yeah, 45 on the season for her, so Frontier's got to be ready for that. Well, 256 kills for her, so that's a lot too. Seventeen to eight. And Caroline Dean's gonna be at the service line for the Red Hawks. She has 220 kills uh, coming into today. Yeah. Nice return by Douglas. Scalen sets up Dugan. Unreturnable. Spike right into their, one of the Douglas players. We make it 18 to eight. And Caroline Dean's gonna serve it again for the Red Hawk. Here comes the serve. That'll be an ace for her. 19 to eight. So six more points in Frontiers going to win this first set. And Dean it will serve it again for the Red Hawks. Here comes the serve. Ooh, nice serve by Dean. And Douglas just barely able to return it. Scalen setting up Dugan. Nice job. Good set by Sydney Scalen setting up Eve Dugan. And I'm just basically unreturnable. 20 to 8. Caroline Dean. Kind of on a little bit of a roll right now. Douglas with the tap over. Steve Scanlon now to Baker. That will be out. So it'll be 20 to eight, or 20 to nine, excuse me. Yeah, it looked like that one just went out. Yeah. Oh. So Abel Lemire with the serve. Appenel hits it over for the Hawks. And Frontier gonna have to deep hit it over. Good job by Davis getting it over. The net. And spike into the net. So it will be 21 to nine. Red Hawks only need four more to win this first one. Yeah, it's curious to see that uh, Douglas hasn't called the timeout. I would at least expect him to call one. Yeah, good serve by Appenel. And, Ooh. oh, that one won't quite get over. So Douglas gets a double digit. And it'll now make it 21 to 10. It will be Elise Forget on the service line for the Douglas. I don't know what they're, they're called. Davis setting up Scalen, Scalen setting up Baker. And reset, reset, reset. this 
one will be hit over by DeMio. Douglas, good rally by both teams here. Down setting up Dugan. Nice save. Hit over by Douglas. High hit ball. Dean setting up Dugan. Dugan taps it over. Nice save by Douglas. But they won't quite be able to get to it. It will be 22 to 10. Red Hawks with the lead. So, three more points, and they will win this first matchup. It will be Samantha Baker back at the service line for the Red Hawks. And here comes the serve. Just hit the top of the net and goes over. So there you go, that one works out for him. That, those ones are always tricky when you have to play it off the top of the net. Yeah, and that will make it 23 to 10. So they only need two more, Alec. Baker going to serve it again for the Hawks. That's an ace. 24-10. One more, and the first match is theirs. Yeah, and if uh, when they do come away with this, if they do, they get this last point right now. It's uh, a big win to win the first match every time you uh, play volleyball. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice serve, and they tap it over. Scanlon sets up Dugan, spike into the net, goes over. Douglas will be able to return it. Scanlon taps it over, and that'll be out. Oh, wait, no, that'll be it. Yeah, 25 10. Frontier is going to win the first one out, and uh, it, we. We'll do an uh, announcement. A well-rounded education is one that is not only academically oriented, but one that also includes physical, social, and emotional development. Interscholastic athletics provide the other half of education. The MIA encourages you to support your local high school athletic teams throughout the school year. So after that message, we will go to the break. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Al Gecko, Benaya, Kevin Murphy. So Frontier, they won the first set 25 to 10. 
Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what Douglas can do a little differently to try to get a set back and try to make this a little closer of a game. Yeah, it'll be, it's going to be interesting to see how they adapt because uh, that you know that that's not how they wanted the first half to go. No, and Frontier, they're very... They're a very strong team. I mean, they usually, they always are. And you always have to think they're coaching as well. I mean, that's why they have all those those banner winnings. And yeah, but they both got here some somehow. So yeah, you never in a tournament you never know what can happen. Yeah, you never want to count a team out just like that. Pretty sure it was Julian Appenel got the first point of the second match. Uh, one to nothing, Frontier with the lead, and she'll be at the service line. And Whew. that just dropped in, Tom. Yeah, I, I didn't even see it. So it just stayed in in uh, in front of that back blue line. It'll be an ace for Appenel, and uh, she has 46 of those on the season. So two nothing for Frontier, and Appenel will serve it up again. Nice serve, unreturnable, right into the dono. Three to zero, an ace for Appenau. No spin on it, looks like a knuckler, knuckle ball in baseball just dropped instantly, basically. This one may be returned, it will be. Dean sets up Scalen, which now spiked by Dugan, returned by Douglas. Tap over by Dugan. Frontier with the save. And that one will go into the net. Three to one. So yeah, she, uh, she just tried to tap it over and just uh, didn't tap it enough. Yeah. So three to one. Nice serve there by Caroline Ramsdale. Ooh. That one I don't, hits the top of the ceiling, comes back down, and four to one. Yeah, the one thing that I uh, I always think is interesting, when it hits the ceiling, it's still in play. You can play it off it. And uh did not look like that one was going to be playable because it came down like a rocket. Yeah. <laughs> and Baker will be serving for Frontier. This one will be returned. Turn by Douglas. Scalon sets up Eve Dugan. And that one goes into the net. So, four to two. It's going to be Jorani, Jorani, Sofida. Serving for Douglas. Frontier able to return that one. Now it's going to be a long, so Frontier will get the point as it's hit out. So five to two in this first, uh, or the second set of this game. Yeah, Frontier yet to give the other team a lead, so here comes a serve from Eve Dugan. That one will go over. That one drops in there. It's a little miscommunication from Douglas as it dropped in between two players. So Yeah, it also had to be awkward too though because the player who first hit it did have to run towards the scoreboard. 6-2 to two for the Hawks. Dugan. Nice serve by her. Hit over by Caroline Ramsdale. Dean with a tap over. Another tap over by Douglas. Do, uh, Caroline Dean with a nice spike there, and it'll be 7 to 2 for the Red Hawks as that one drops in. Dugan will serve it up again. That one almost had no spin on it. Douglas with the return, goes out of bounds, Frontier's point. And 
And it's going to be Dugan serving it up once again for the Red Ox. Nice serve. That one had basically no spin. Didn't, didn't have a rotation out. Yeah, the, uh, Douglas also had issues setting it on that one because of the angle it came down on, too. 9-2. to two. Red Ox lead by 7. Dugan, another nice serve. Tap over into the donut hole. So Douglas, they'll come away with the point there. Yeah, nice little tap by them to find the opening in between all the Red Hawks to get a point. And Kylie Squire will be back at the service line for Douglas. Nice serve from her. Nice tap over by the Mio. And that will be in. Wow. Great, great job by Douglas getting the point there. I mean, wow. <laughs> I, I, I have no words for that one, Tom. <laughs> no words? No words. I don't even know how I would describe that one. I don't know how you would either. So Squire will serve again. Scanlon says if Dean blocked at the net. And Dean had to act quickly there. Scanlon. Sets up to Mayo with the hit over. Down at the referee's back. So un unreturnable and 10 to 4. Ten to four. Red Hawks lead by six. Brooke Davis back at the service line. Nice serve. Not returnable. Frontiers point. Eleven to four. So Davis will get the serve again for the Red Hawks. She's their uh Libero, Libero. Douglas able to return that one. That'll be in, as that was Ava Lemire. Makes it 11 to five, so this one's a little closer. And it'll be Izzy Ohm serving. Hits the top of the net, <laughs> drops in. Just doesn't work out. Yeah, that, that one's tricky because uh, reading off that top of the net is one of the harder things to do, and you just got to give her props for attempting to dive for it to keep it in. Yeah, that, that one's definitely hard. Hard to return. This one hits off Davis and returned by Appenel. Leva Lemire spikes the net frontier, and Dugan looks like it will go long, so 11-6. Yeah, uh, Douglas is on a nice run right now, Tom. Yeah, this is, this is what you want to see. Izzy Ohm will serve again. She's one of uh, Douglas' seniors. She also has 57 aces this season. What you want to see out of the player? Nice spike by, I think it was Dean. Dugan. That's it. Nice spike by Dean and no return. Yeah, beautiful uh, volley by both teams this game, uh, this set. Um, you know, in the end, Frontier just had a nice spike. 12 to seven, Alec. Frontier now with only a five point lead. And Sydney Scanlon will be at the service line for the Hawks. Not, re not returnable. <laughs> 13 to seven. So I think that was an ace. So uh, if Frontier wins tonight, they'll face Turner Falls or... Paulo Freire. I don't know how to say that, but probably. So it'll be either those two teams, it looks like, they'll be facing in the state semifinal. And uh, vice versa, Douglas wins, they'll either face Turner Falls or uh, Paulo Ferra. <laughs> That's all right. Sydney Scallon with a nice serve and Jillian Apple just hits it over the net. Boom. Point for Frontier, 15 to 7. So it uh, looks like uh, Douglas takes the timeout, Tom. Yeah, and so we'll have another 
more than uh, 270,000 students from nearly 370 MIA member schools will participate in over 100,000 high school sport competitions this year. The Massachusetts Interscholastic Athletic Association encourages you to support your local high school athletic programs and the students who participate in them. Nice, nice words from the MIA. There you go, Alex. 20 seconds left in this timeout. I mean, it, we'll just stay with it. Yeah, I mean. Well, so Tom, what, what do you think Douglas needs to do differently? Uh, maybe try to stop Frontier's attack. I mean, there's not much really you can do when you have such heat on the ball. I mean, Frontier's been serving the ball well all season, and there's a reason they're 22 and 1. I mean, pretty impressive season by the Hawks, so Douglas will have to come up big. And Sidney Scallon will serve for the Red Hawks. This one will be returned by Gerani Sofita. Nice dig by Gerani, and now Dean will hit it over Another for the Another one. That one will go long. So point goes to Frontiers, 16 to seven. So a 13, no, <laughs> I almost said 13 point lead. It's only a nine point lead Ooh. for the Hawks. This one not being able to return. Yeah, that way, that, that one's hard because not only did she have to run for it, but she had to attempt to avoid a player too, so it made her not be able to get to the ball on that one. Yeah, 17 to seven. Scallon with another serve. Hits the top of the net. Cool. Davis. Not sure who hit that one. That one will go out. Yeah, just out for Frontier. It just got over that blue line in the back. I think that's that's one difference that uh, Frontier has to make up for is uh, they're hitting it out a lot this round. Ava Lemire with the serve, yeah. And Dean with a nice spike at the net. That'll that make it. Is that power? Yeah. Unreturnable almost. I mean, you can't. What, what can you do to stop that out? I mean. Well, the only thing you can do, at least me, from my personal view, is hope you get it, the right contact on it when you hit it and it goes the right direction. Yeah, I mean, hopefully you can try to hit it straight up. I mean, that one will be unreturnable. Another ace for the Hawks. Goes Hawk. far into that left side corner. She had a far ways to run for that one. Yeah. Caroline Dean having a nice run at the service line. 19-8. Red Hawks lead by 11. So there's substitutions, Tom. 13 for 14 for Douglas. So, so it's going to be uh, Selena Moore coming in for Douglas. Taking a set seat is Caroline Ramsdell. And Scallon will and, sit for the Hawks. And so, Tom, it's the Douglas Tigers, I just realized, because I just saw it on the back of their jerseys. Oh. Wow. So we, 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 had, we saw the Tigers the other night as well. So Frontier gets that point, making it 20 to eight. Yeah, 12 point lead for the Red Ox. Five more to go and they win their second set. Take a 2-0 lead. Dean, that, that one will go far, so 20 to nine. And Izzy Ohm going to serve for uh, the Tigers. So there's also a sub for uh, Frontier. Seven came in for 11. That's Ariana Miller coming on for Caroline Dean. Davis. Nice job by Brooke Davis. Get it over and uh, that, the Tigers were unable to return it. Now 16 for 11 for the Tigers, Tom. That will be Gabby Rivard for Megan Mulder. And Frontier had one too, but I missed it. Uh, well, there you go, Nace. 
for Appenel. 22-9. Ooh. Nice try there by Ava Lemire to try to, I mean, you can't really do much more. No, Frontier's been doing a very good job serving-wise and just uh, getting getting basically the lucky uh, chances. I don't want to go into the net. 23 to 9. Hey, we jinxed her on that one. <laughs> yeah, you did. That was all you, Alex. 23-10 <laughs> now. So, as uh, Twenty-three ten. Here comes the serve by Selena Moore. Carey sets up Dugan, and there you go. Twenty-four ten. Alec, one more, and it's theirs. It'll be Samantha Baker at the serve sign for the Hawks. Baker, nice serve. Ooh. Douglas got a return, nice What job. an effort. Carry with the tap over, and there you go. You, you, you can't do anything about that. There's a major effort there on the Douglas side to even run that ball down to get it back in play and get it over to Frontier side. In the end, it just was a bad outcome. But yeah. you know, they gotta, they gotta uh, shake it off and hope to do better in the next set. Yeah, and so both sets, they go 25 to 10, and we'll have another announcement about the MIA. High school sports provide an extension of the classroom where students learn to pursue excellence, the value of working with others toward a common goal, playing within the structure of established rules, discipline, loyalty, and emotional control. The MIA urges you to demonstrate your sport for these values and for young people by attending high school competitions in your community. So some nice words. They're gonna take a quick break. So you're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. So if uh, Frontier wins this, the sets will be done for the night. Yeah. As they would have won by three. And they only have to win by two games. 
Well, no, they got, got to get. No. So in volleyball, they have to win a total of uh, three games to be able to end the game yeah. because you have to beat the opposing team by at least two games. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're right. To me, in my, my head, it doesn't make sense, but I mean, it does. And Appenel, was, she had a nice ace there to get the first point on the board. Douglas able to return this one. Dean Scanlon now tap over. That was Gabrielle Adams. Who's a junior for the Hawks. So it looks like, never mind. To me, it looked like uh, Douglas changed it up a tiny bit uh, player-wise, but I am wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll be another ace for the Red Hawks, three to zero. Apollo on a, roll, a little bit of a roll right now in this third third match. There comes the serve from Apollo. Almost no spin on that ball. Nice return and. I think it was uh, Caroline Ramsdale that hit it over there. So, at least forget will serve for the uh, for the Tigers, and that one will go into the net. Four to one, Red Ox with the three-point lead. Samantha Baker back at the service line for the Red Ox. Here comes the serve. That and drops. And ace. Five to one. Red Ox with the lead. Yeah, Douglas just haven't been able to stop them in the last uh, three sets. They've been uh, off to a fast start in all of them. Here comes another serve. That one will go into the net. So uh, let's see, Tom, if uh, Douglas can now take the momentum away from Frontier. Yeah, five to two. Caroline Ramsdale will be at the service line for the Tigers. Here comes the serve. Dean now Scanlon setting up Adams. And won't be returned. Six to two, Red Ox lead. It'll be a really quick game, you know. They finish up this one. Yeah, but at least both teams are playing their hardest. And, you know, for anyone to make it this far in a state final. Uh, actually, is it Western Mass though or states now? States, Alec. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That one got served into the net. Six to three. Yeah, when the... the do you, am I a D5 Elite 8 out for the state final? Great return. I think it was Adams 7 to 3. But for any team to get that far in it, it's it's a win. Yes, I think this year we had the boys soccer. They won the Western Mass final. Girls volleyball, they won Western Mass field final. Field hockey? And field hockey, yeah. There you go, another point for Frontier, eight to three. I mean, it's pretty impressive to have three teams that win Western Mass. Yeah, it's also impressive to see Frontier this year. They've been doing an amazing job volleyball-wise. Yeah. Brooke Davis with the serve for the Hawks, eight to three. Tigers unable to return, nine to three now. Again, Frontier, will, they'll go to the state semifinal if they win here. Uh, and they'll face Turner's Falls or Paulo Ferrer. So that serve hits the net. So it would be Douglas's point makes it 9-4. to four. Serving for Douglas is Megan Such. Nice serve from her. Dugan setting up Dean. Dean hits it over. Tigers going to be able to return. Ava Ramirez hits it over. Dean, unreturnable. 10 to 4. Red Ox lead by 6. 
So it would be a substitution on Douglas' side. So Megan Such will take a seat, and I'm uh, pretty sure... Frontier's getting flies, nine flies. for... F or 14 for nine, Tom, for Frontier. Samantha Baker in for uh, Shelby Orlowski. Here comes a serve from Sydney Scalen. That'll be an ace. 11 to four. Nice serve by Scalen. Davis to Scalen to Appenel. That'll and be out. Yeah, that one uh that one uh looked good at first, but just had a little bit too much on it. And it looks like eight for eleven for Douglas. So taking a seat is Ava Lemir and Megan Mulder back on the court. Nice spike by Dean. Davis setting up Dean again. Nice hit over by Douglas. Scalen sets up Dean. Once again, good service here. Scalen, Dugan now hit over by Davis. Turned by the Tigers. This is definitely good. Uh, volley here. This is the greatest one tonight, Alec. Now yeah. And it falls in Douglas's hands, too. Yeah. Which oh. is going to give them, hopefully, the momentum that they need to make this game a little bit tighter. 11 to 6. Izzy Ohm on the service line. And comes a serve. Off of Dugan, it will go out 11 to seven. So this is this one, this third set here. I mean, Douglas really wants to stay in it, Alec. Yeah, no. All all they needed was that uh, nice volley to give them a little bit more momentum. Is the own Davis Scalen now tap over by Caroline Dean. Point goes to Frontier. Smart move by her. 12 to seven. That was a close one too, Tom. That was. Very close to the blue line on the left side of the court. Placement. And Caroline Dean, she'll be at the service line. Nice serve by her. Tigers. Trying to return it and they'll go out of bounds, 13 to seven. And Dean will be Serving once again for the Red Ox. Here comes the serve. Ace, there you go. Yeah, just ricocheted off her hands that time and uh, went into the stands. Yeah, Douglas has to kind of find the answer quick. 14 to seven, Frontier just adding on to their lead. And Caroline Dean will serve it up again. Oh, that one goes into the net. 14 to eight. Uh, it will be Megan Mulder, senior for the Tigers, serving here. Nice serve from her. Dugan to scale and sets up Appenel. And now Appenel off the block, just taps it over. 14 to eight. Or 15 to 8, excuse me. Yeah, way to stay with it um, to get that point after that block. Uh, 8 for 11. So Ava Lemire back on the court for Megan Mulder. Appenel with the serve. Appenel, Scalen, Dugan with the spike. This time, Dean to Scalen, back set, Baker, no good. Yeah, it's, the set was a little bit behind her. A little uh, difficult hit, it looked like, for her. 15 to nine. And number 18 for one. Emily Torres uh, for Kylie Squire. Nice serve 
by Elise Forget. Oof. That one will go out. 15 to 10. It looked like it would have gone out. Or no, it did go out. My bad. Yep. So Elise Forget with another serve here. I was surprised the Douglas player was able to get out of the way. Oh. <laughs> a miss hit by Dugan. No make it 15 to 11. So good job by the Tigers sticking with this one. Yeah, no, after that uh, that amazing uh, volley by both teams, it looked like they had the momentum to stick with it. Forget with another serve. Scallon, singing up Dugan, there you go. 16 to, 16 to 11. Um. Baker will serve. Samantha Baker will serve it for the Red Hawks. That'll be an ace. 17 to 11. And Red Hawks. Eight more points. And this one will be theirs, Alec. Nice serve from from Baker. Dean, Seneb Scallon. Dugan with the spike. Ooh. That one won't be able to be returned. No, but you still gotta love the effort though to attempt to make it so it stayed alive. 18 to 11 now. Ooh. Ooh. Nice, powerful serve goes off the net. No, Tom, that thing that that didn't just go off the net. That <laughs> went off the ref's ladder as well. Yeah. Ladder. Nineteen to eleven, six more points. So fifteen for sixteen, Tom, and it looks like eighteen will be getting subbed in by one for Douglas, and also two for six for Frontier. Uh, Elena Pierce gonna go on for the Hawks. Um, not too sure on the other side. Here comes Baker. <laughs> That'll be out 19 to 12. A line judge wasn't sure about that because yeah. that went so quick he didn't even have time yeah. to see where it went. Yep. And Shelby Orlowski comes on for Samantha Baker. Serving for Douglas will be Caroline Ramsdell, senior for them. Dean now, Pierce sets up Dugan. Point goes to Frontier, 20 to 12. Five more and they're gonna win this one and move on. Eve Dugan will serve it up again for the Red Ox. She's done very well tonight. Nice job by Elena Pierce. It's over on the turnable 21 12. And Eve Dugan, who's a senior and captain for the Hawks, she'll serve again. An ace for her 22 12. She also leads in a couple of the stats, Tom. At least two. She leads uh, her team in kills and digs. Yeah, she's 230 kills and 183 digs. Oh, what? <laughs> I missed that one. It's a great effort. Douglas really trying to stay in this one. I don't know if they planned on that happening or it just happened, but it worked out well so far. <laughs> yep. Ava Lemire hits it over for Douglas. Pierce sets up Adams. Douglas got to get it over. Good rally by them and the Hawks. Pierce sets up Dean. Dean spiking the net. Unreturnable. As that's not how they wanted it to go, but it went. 23-12. No. And another good uh, volley, though, by both teams in the end. And... 11 for 7 for Frontier Tom. 
So Ariana Miller will come in for Caroline Dean. 23-12. Steve Dugan still at the service line. Orlowski sets up Pierce. Uh, I'm not sure what the call was there. Uh, frontier point, though. Yeah, 24-12. One more, and they'll move on. Eve Dugan. Ava Lemire, there you go. The Hawks win it. 25 to 12 in the final set. So they'll move on to the state semifinal. Yeah, but uh, you got to give props to Douglas. An hour and 30 minute drive they came, and they played their hearts out just as much as Frontier, but in the long run, it was Frontier who comes away with it. Yeah, the first set, 20, Frontier won it. 25-10, uh, second, same score, 25-10. Final set to move on, 25-12. So that will do it for our coverage uh, tonight. For the final time, Tom Albert, Alec Echo, Kevin Murphy, uh, Benaya Dugan. We will see you guys next time. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television.